Kevin Anikowski with KD Psych. Let's move on to mood disorders. So major depressive disorder requires at least two years, at least two years um, since the last major depressive episode. Okay, and major depressive episodes um, can last, or they must last at least two weeks, but they can last for months. Okay, so major uh, major depressed patients, people that have MDD, don't necessarily have to be depressed all of the time, but they have to have major depressive episodes, and it can't be um, intertwined with manic episodes. And I'm going to get to that in a minute. Okay, that's bipolar. So major depressive uh, disorder requires two years since the last major depressive episode. Those episodes last at least two weeks. Um, these people are apathetic, lethargic, and they want to die. Now I know there's this dig fast mnemonic which helps uh, outline some of the things for choosing whether or not this person can be diagnosed with major depressive disorder, but I like to think of it very simply as apathetic, lethargic, and they want to die. If you can figure out that the person has those three things, right, those three three, those three things, then you know that they have major depressive disorder, including that you know two-year time span. Okay, um, you can do the dig fast if you want, but that I think takes just a lot more energy power than necessary. By the way, apathetic means you don't care. Lethargic is you don't have any motivation to do anything. If you didn't know the difference, dysthemia. Uh, that dis is some type of a disturbance, right? Um, and the themia is relating to your mood. And so there's a disturbance in your mood. Dysthemia is major depressive episodes, or sorry, dysthemia is depression over a period of time, except major depressive episodes are unique in that they actually are life debilitating, okay? Like you cannot function as you normally would when you have a major depressive episode. That is significant. If you can function normally, it's not a major depressive episode. Whereas dysthemia is a very, uh, or periods of sadness that aren't life debilitating. That's what it's talking about. Whereas dysthemia is referring to an extended period of time of that period of sadness. Cool? Cool. Bipolar 1, 2, and cyclothemia. Now, I like to look at it on a scale, um, and this is the scale. Okay, so the higher you are on that scale, the, um, I guess, more manic your manic episodes are. And manic episodes are episodes of elation, right? Very uh, much excitement, grandiosity, um, other things along those lines. However, manic episodes have life debilitation. So that means you are so happy or grandiose and you don't sleep and any of these other things that you can actually not function normally in life. Uh, and actually a lack of sleep is very popular in manic episodes, keep that in mind. So bipolar 1 has manic episodes, doesn't necessarily have depressive episodes though, okay? You don't have to have depressive episodes on bipolar 1. You have to have manic episodes and then um, there are feelings of sadness, okay? Bipolar 2 is a lesser version of it, a lesser version of what? A lesser version of the manic episodes. They have hypomanic episodes. And if you recall, hypo is lower than not having hypo. Um, as in, there, there's less of it, okay? So less manic episodes. Hypomanic episodes. Hypomanic episodes are not life debilitating. That is key. Remember, this is going to be the key to figure out, is this an episode, is this not, okay? They do have depressive episodes. So they do seem to be bipolar in the sense that they are super low at a time, and then they are super high at a time, except these super highs are hypomanic episodes. And then lastly, we have cyclothemia, the highs and lows, but no life debilitation, okay? Just like dysthemia. Um, so cyclothemia is referring to that highs and lows, except there's no life debilitation. Dysthemia, there are lows, but there's no life debilitation, whereas bipolar two, one and major depressive disorder all have life debilitation. All right, I should help you with the mood disorders. Move on to the next one.